Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode. What is the feature class layer and layer file in the series of GS and remote sensing? This series is brought to you by the Faculty of Forestry, the University of British Columbia. I'm Hai Tao Li. In this video, we will discuss the three main concepts. That is the feature class layer and layer file. A feature is an object that stores its geographic representation. It could be a point, line, or polygon. Annotations. A feature is stored as a row in the attribute table. Feature could be considered as the smallest unit to store and present spatial object and event. Feature classes are homogeneous collection of features. For example, each of these points are a feature. And the whole collection of them is a point feature class. Same to the line feature class and polygon feature class and uh, annotation feature class. And the other feature class is are dimensions, multi-points, multi-patch, and 3D objects. The point, line, polygon, or annotation feature class can be saved as a shape file. The rest of the four features, dimensions, multi-point, multi-patches, or 3D objects, can only be saved as geodatabase feature class. And by the way, Shapefile's full name is a Shapefile feature class. We can find and load the feature class from the catalog pane directed to the folder or duty base and it's list the feature classes such as the point, polygons, lines, or annotations and others. Once they load to ArcGIS, the feature class's name and the type show in the content pane. The name, type, and their geometry shows up at the map windows. We call it a layer. We already have a feature class. Why do we need a layer? First, we want to visualize the data in JS application. Second, we want to change and edit the feature's presentation. Third, we want to load more feature class on the same map sometimes, and we want to manage them. These are reasons to why we need a layer. And the, the definition of a layer is the visual representation of geographic data set such as Shapefile, Geodatabase, Rust images in ArcGIS Pro. So a layer is not just about a feature class or a vector. It contains lots of type of the layer, include feature layer, which is the vector, or Rust layer. It can be a single layer or a mosaic layer. For example here, this one is a raster layer. And uh, also the layer to present the 3D scenes. And other layers such as the selection layer. For example here, the highlight uh, features tend to a selection layer. As we said, the reasons to create a layer is to edit and manage the style of features or map. We can use symbologies to change the style. For example, we have a water share feature class here. I'll go to symbology. And uh, select the unique value. And uh, we can choose grid code. Mm. 
Now, for each water share have the different color. It's very easy for us to see how many water share here. Even we can tell here the very small one. If we remove the feature class or close the objects and load the feature class again, all the symbology is gone. We have to create the symbology again. So how can we save the symbolic or the layers properties? We can save it in a map file, which is .mapx, or save it as individually layer file .lyrx. A layer file includes the representations of feature class such as size, color, and other layers properties and uh, data link. We can do it here. Go to share and click the layer file or we can go to the layer select the layer right click sharing save as layer file and save to where we want to save we can go to the file folders to check it now here is a, a layer file it's watershare.lyrx you may notice that the layer file's size is just 21 KB because the layer file only stores the layer properties and the data link. It doesn't include the real data, so the size is very small and we cannot open it on different computers. To solve the problems, we can make another computer connecting to the data through the data link or save it as a layer package. Go to the same place, select the layers you want to save, sharing and save as a layer package. Or we can go to the share and click the layer and select the save package to file. And then we can save it as a layer package. Before save it as a layer package, we need to put some detail here, such as water share as color. We tag as water share. Go analyze. It's okay. Packaging. Now it's done. Let's go to the folders to check. Now we can see here is a layer file which is 21 KB and we have another file is a layer package. It's 146 KB. It's larger than the layer file which means the data also inside the package. Let's use this plot to summarize the relationship between the feature class, layer, and the layer file. Suppose we have a special information needed to store as a vector data. So we create a shape file or a geodatabase feature class to store the location, shape, and the attribute of the geographic feature. A shape file or geodatabase feature class that contain one feature class and load the feature class into ArcGIS Pro. The feature class is visualized as a layer. Upon the layers, we can edit change the symbology. If we want to keep the same presentation, we can save the layer file. The layer file will contain the layer property and the data link. In comparison to a feature class, a layer file is just a link or reference to actual data. Primarily store the symbologies to a 
features and other layer properties related to what is seen the when the data is viewed in the JS application, such as ArcGIS Pro. If we want to save both the layer property and the data, we can use the layer package. Thanks for your watching. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions.